Hi friends, let's find out the best open source LLM for querying SQL databases in natural language. Here I have my Olama list. I have 21 models. Excluding these three embedding models, we are going to test the remaining 18 models to find out the best one. Okay. In terms of the size or the number of parameters, we have three categories of models. Majority of the models are 7 billion parameters like Llama, Llama 3, QN, uh, uh, so and so forth. And then we have two models, DeepSea Coder, uh, it, it is 16 billion parameters. And then Mr. Limo, the latest one, uh, it has 12 billion parameters. Okay, so these two are large models and most of them are 7 billion except two models which are smaller in size. So Phi3, uh, I believe this is about uh, 3 billion parameters and then we have another one, uh, Stable Coder. Okay, so three classes, around 2 to 3 billion parameters, 7 billion parameters and then two large models. Now I have M1 Mac uh, with 16 gig RAM. All models except these two uh, run without any issues. Uh, when I run DeepSeek Coder, uh, my system completely froze. So I could not do anything else. Uh, Mr. Limo, it almost froze, but still it lets me do uh, other tasks. All right. Now, coming to the purpose of the models, uh, we have nine models, uh, which are general purpose models like Llama, Mistral, Phi, Gemma, Quen, etc. And then we have nine models, uh, which are uh, code focused. Okay, so we are going to test all these 18 models. Now I set up a database, uh, Postgres a SQL database uh, with uh, data uh, from this uh, Chikun database. Okay, so this is the schema of the database. Uh, it's about music, artists, albums, the customers, uh, what they purchased, etc. Okay, so this has about 11 tables uh, with some maybe over 60 columns. Okay, that's the schema. And then I have prepared some questions, uh, the corresponding SQL query and run the query on the database uh, to get uh, what is called the ground truth, uh, which uh, I can compare with the uh, uh, response from LLMs. Okay, so these are the questions, uh, 24 questions. Now, I try to cover the important uh, commands of SQL, like having group by where, count, joins, uh, date, time, extract, uh, aggregation functions. And because of the stochastic nature of the LLMs, uh, every time we run, we get slightly different response. So I repeated each experiment five times. So in total, we have 24 questions, 18 LLMs, and each question is asked five times. So we have over 2000 natural language to SQL generation, and then executed those queries on the database. Uh, to get the answers okay um all right so here is the final result now we will go into the code uh, the questions uh, which ones the llms got correct incorrect and some interesting patterns uh, in the next video but let's look at uh, the high level results uh, uh, in this video all right um here we have four models uh, which could not return the results uh, for two reasons, either a timeout or uh, it's a two-step process. So I'm using Llama index uh, agent. First, it convert a query in natural language to SQL query. And then it execute the SQL query on the database. Now, some of these models they might have generated the SQL query correctly, but because of the extra quotation marks, etc., uh, the queries could not be executed on the database. 
Now we could stop it just generating the SQL query and then uh, uh, compute the performance. But either we would have to do it uh, manually or we would have to take those queries and separately run on the uh, database excluding those quotation marks uh, or other uh, uh, natural language or explanation uh, the models insert into the uh, query or the before the query okay now we want the complete process to be automated so we want the query to be executed on the database so that's why i have not made uh, any changes so i am using the llama index functionality as it is uh, without changing the prompt or any other parameters okay so this does not mean these models are as bad as it may uh, appear here all right um cool so the latest mr limo model uh, which is of 12 billion parameter uh, the rest are uh, 7 billion parameter uh, outperform all other models uh, by a very good margin so here we are looking at the percentage of questions which are correct so out of 24 questions how many questions uh, we got the correct response uh, uh, the final response okay we compute that and we repeat the experiment five times and then we take the average so this 65 represents the average percentage of questions this model got it correct okay so mr limo it outperform all other models and then interestingly we have llama 3 uh, doing slightly better than the latest llama 3.1 okay and no surprise uh, compared to llamas code llama is doing uh, quite well um, and then we have gamma 2 uh, another interesting fact uh, the pi 3 uh, which is of just uh, believe 3 billion parameters uh, is doing as good as uh, some of these models uh, which are of uh, 7 billion parameters and uh, another thing here we have these general purpose models like gamma mistral llama uh, phi these models are doing uh, much better than the code focus models like this sql coder they're supposed to be uh, doing well uh, the code uh, quen uh, the wizard coder code gamma so compared to these ones uh, the generic purpose models are doing uh, much better okay now as i said the disclaimer had we stopped at generating just the sql query and then uh, evaluated the performance the results uh, could have been uh, slightly different but as i said uh, we want the whole process uh, uh, to run automatically with the current llama index uh, capabilities okay um, i'll just show you this table okay so here is the summary of the results uh, as you can see for each model here we see how many questions got it correct and from those five independent uh, experiments or trials uh, here we look at the standard deviation so mr limo it got 16 questions out of 24 uh, correct uh, with plus or minus uh, one question okay and so the mistral it not only have consistent performance and at the standard deviation uh, is also quite less so if you look at the percentage of questions which it got correct it's 65 percent uh, with a standard deviation of uh, around four percent okay all right uh, so this sql coder uh, with again supposed to be the sql model uh, it has this highest uh, standard deviation uh, so the performance is about 35 percent but it has uh, this quite large 10 uh, percent uh, standard deviation okay all right so uh, so in the next video uh, we will go over uh, the sql queries and the output from uh, these models uh, not the final response from the database but actual the sql queries and we will look at some interesting patterns where uh, these models uh, generated the sql queries uh, correctly and what common patterns uh, uh, they have uh, when they are incorrect okay uh, that's all for this video thank you very much